place a couple of quarter inch shims on the sill, hold the door in the opening while centering it from the interior. Check for plumb and level, then tack the door in place through the brick mold casing. I'll now outline the siding cutout, but slightly enlarged for clearance. So I'll use about an eighth inch spacer for tracing out around all four sides. When you did your initial cut through to the exterior, you may or may not have found a membrane behind the exterior veneer, like I've included on this wall. The types of membrane materials vary and serve a variety of purposes. Simply put, if it's there, you need to maintain its integrity around the rough opening perimeter. Having said that, I'll set my circular saw blade at a shallow depth whereby I won't cut through the membrane. That's a very fine line, so as an added precaution, I'll slide some spacers between the siding and the membrane. Now I can cut the outline, stopping just shy of the corners. Then finish off the corners and any siding remains with the chisel, or better yet, the oscillating multi-tool. And reposition the spacers as needed to protect the membrane. And as I intended, the membrane is unharmed. I'll quickly mention one alternate cutout method, and that is, instead of marking and then cutting the outline, go ahead and make the entire cutout with the multi-tool using the secured brick mold casing and spacer as a guide, while very carefully monitoring your cut depth. Let's try a dry fit. It's looking good, and I love that recessed look.